So I thought it would be neat to make a quick video on how you can actually run beta streams on your Windows PC. Not only run beta streams, but any application. And you can accomplish all of this with a great application called BlueStacks. BlueStacks is an Android emulator and it allows you to run Android applications, Android games, etc. Here I'm going to show you how to install beta streams and then run it on your Windows PC. And so if you watch the video, you will see where, uh, you, you, forgive me also uh, for this particular video in the sense that I did not look at the screen measurements when I decided to record my screen. So it's cut off just a little bit, but you'll get the point. So here you'll see that uh, I've gone to bluestacks.com and I've downloaded the Bluestacks application. After it finishes downloading, it gives you the option to open it. So when I clicked on open, it'll go through the process of unpacking the installation files. Eventually, you'll see a screen that comes up that will allow you to perform the install. So here you see where it says install now and I took a look at the custom installation settings because I just wanted to see uh, what that was, what, what were the, the, the configurations that were there. And basically it's nothing except uh, an option for changing the location of the installation files. So I just went on and did an install now. Now this BlueStacks application I think will be awesome for users of beta streams in the sense that if you're at work or at your home uh, desktop, your Windows desktop or a Macintosh desktop, you can install this application, install beta streams, and then at your desk, you can watch cable TV. If you're at work, you can watch cable TV as well. So once the installation is complete, you can just click on the button complete. And if the option for auto start is selected, it will start the application a few seconds after you've completed the installation. So when I decided to record this video, I did not look at my screen settings for the screen recording application that I use. So the video is cut cut off just a little bit, but you'll get the point. One of the things that I did when I was doing the installation, just to avoid any kind of disruption, I went and exited out of my uh, virus application just for the time being. I wanted to make sure it was a clean install. So here you'll have the option to agree to allow Google to locate you. And by doing that, I guess it allows them to know exactly what kind of regional settings to offer for you. So once you've agreed to the location service, you can agree to it or not, it's up to you. But once you've agreed to that and you've uh, started the process of entering into the application, you're going to have to use your Google sign-on information. So if you don't have a Google account, and you should if you're using um, the Connect box or an Android box uh, to watch Beta Streams, Terium TV, Kodi, you would have a, a, a Google account more than likely. So you'll input your login information into Google, and once you sign in, It'll check your information and then the process of BlueStacks configuring itself will take place. And this takes a little while. And the other thing I want to tell you is that uh, if you if your your uh, desktop computer is slow in 
in its operation, then you may see lags with the video. You may have problems using the application. And I will admit, my desktop PC is not the most powerful desktop PC, but it was good enough to allow you to see another option for enjoying your streaming entertainment uh, and more so in enjoying your, your beta streams. So here, once you're in the application, you have an opportunity to download all kinds of Google applications. But what I've done is clicked on My Apps. And then from My Apps, there's an option down in the uh, lower right-hand corner. Uh, it has a plus sign on it, and it says APK Installer. And so you can click on that. It might even say apps uh, installer, but I think it's APK installer. You, you can click on that and you can locate your APK file and install it. And if you go to Solus Connect, you can do a search for beta streams and you will find where uh, there's a link to the beta streams APK file. So anyway, anyway, once you have saved that APK file on your system, you'll be able to um, click on APK installer or app installer in BlueStacks and then select, go to the location of where you have that APK file at and then you can select it and then install the APK file. In this case, it's beta streams. But if you wanted to install Terium TV, you could do the same thing. So once you selected the file, you just click on open. It'll go through the installation and then uh, you'll see that beta streams, the beta streams logo will appear. And then all I need to do is click on the beta streams logo enter into beta streams of course i'm going to have to enter in my logon information and password but once you do that you're able to uh, access beta streams open up the tv guide select a, uh, a, a channel and start watching your programming and so i i just felt that this was an interesting uh, application i, I think uh, fans of beta streams or Terium TV or any kind of streaming application that requires an Android operating system, I think that BlueStacks will give you an opportunity to utilize your Windows OS and enjoy these wonderful applications that have been created for the Android uh, operating system. Before I go, I, I, I'll show you how you can just click on a channel and then you're able to, to see your programming. And as I stated, my PC is not the most powerful, but for the sake of this video, it got the point across. You can use BlueStacks uh, at BlueStacks.com. You can use their BlueStacks application to watch TV programming. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Once again, thanks for watching. Look forward to speaking to you soon.